Hey guys, welcome back. So it's time to get some more uh, customization done to this car. Uh, you know, I went through, I shaved the engine bay down, and now I need to figure out how I want the hood to work. Since I did remove the hood latch, I do need to put hood pins in. And I did remove my prop to uh, hold up the hood. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and go to a gas shock. Uh, or strut you want whatever you want to call it to actually help the keep the hood up So I had to dig through Find all this down. I was hoping to get this lost up in primer, but the weather's been very humid and not Cooperating right so I need to figure out The right distance to have this thing mounted down, back into its location And then I need to have this gas shock here this is um, 8.15 inch gas shock rated for 90 pounds I got, oh, no, nope, this is 80 pounds, my bad. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can focus on it. Camera going dark. Do not open high pressure. 80, I thought it was 90, but research I've been looking for, a lot of people go between 60 to 90 pounds. So it depends on the size too. This is a longer one. Some people have gone a little bit longer. A lot of the other standard ones are like a little over five inches. I bought this these a long time ago and I've been sitting on them. Um, to be honest, there's a guy now, I believe in the UK, I see him on Instagram. He actually makes a nice kit already for it. Uh, if I didn't already own all the stuff for it, I probably would have gone that route just to make it less headache and move along a lot faster. But since I already have the stuff, I'm not spending money. So I need to take some measurements here and I have an idea where I wanted to drill the hole in this. I'm going to put it right here. Yeah, it's hard to see dark wise, but I've been doing measurement wise. I should uh, be honest with you, I actually already did the other side, made it one up, and it worked out pretty good. So I need to do that, and I need to make some brackets to get this bolted in. So let's go ahead and start doing some drilling. All right, here's the extra parts I need to put together. These are the brackets I made up for the other side to help hold it in place. So I need to go ahead and copy these. This one's actually made out of aluminum. I mean, up making it out of steel. I just did it because it's easier to drill through and easier to tap. Good for testing. I mean, it doesn't really need to hold a lot of weight actually or pressure wise for it. And then this one I made out of uh, steel. The front one not, doesn't look the prettiest looking. I'll clean it up more. Just give me a rough idea. I can always go back and remake these. But these are the hole sizes I need drilled into uh, the side of the firewall of the engine bay to make it work properly. So let's go ahead and put this together, hole and get everything lined up and make sure it all fits. Okay, so now I got it completely installed on both sides. Sorry I didn't show you me putting the hood back on, but trying to do that myself was too much of a pain in the butt. And I'm using my head, hand, I had my wife hold one side for a little bit, then the kids started screaming. Fun time, so, but I'm very happy with the way this came out. Oh, I need to put your battery in. Holds it up very well. It goes down nice and good. All right, so, I do not the best alignment. I mean, pretty good through here. Got a little bit of play here. But when I put the hood pins in, I think that's going to fix it. I do need to, been trying to adjust it back through here. This is a little low in the, that side. This other side, though, came out pretty well, and I'm actually quite healthy with it. But same over here. 
it's on the low side. Now there is a rubber strip that does go inside the fenders. This one has it, that one does not. I do got new ones. I will be doing that. So next thing I need to put around is the arrow catch wise, whatever you how you pronounce these, arrow. So uh, see, so that's what I got. So now I'm trying to figure out exactly how to, where to put these. So I need to figure out if I wanted something like that. They usually go, a lot of people put them on an angle wise. So the problem is trying to figure out exactly where. All right, sorry about that. Battery died. So think about where the hood pins in. I went through with black marker. I'm gonna close the hood by hand it. Just try to outline how much room I have on each side for it. Um, so I do gotta fix the hood up through here. So I might cut this way anyways. So I need to figure out exactly how I want this to go. So I need to figure that out. It's just a rough, if I grab the other one here. Thinking maybe something like that. So I need to get some measurements off onto these. Uh, I do like this one because they do have a lock and key on them. Sure, might not look as good. So I'm trying to figure out which way to do this with the paint job I'm planning on doing, how far and out I want these to go. And I think I'll be able to adjust the pin inside. So let me do some measuring. Okay, so all the uh, cutting and getting with the right size, this is what I came up with. I left it long on this side so I know where to line up and mark it. And I had markers here. So that's how I was planning on originally doing it. Um, so next day though, I went to work and we were going through some stuff for uh, scrap metal, what we were gonna get rid of. Now that was steel, so I was gonna weld those in. I didn't, wasn't a big fan actually of welding. I mean, cause it's permanent and it kind of stuck out. So I wasn't huge. So uh, I found these cool little brackets we had that we were giving away for scrap. Uh, these are aluminum, so very lightweight. And I want to be able to weld these in. I could bolt them in. Uh, I had a little tab out through here, but I cut it and they came out really nice. They fit here. They I do like because it does come out a little bit further in the edges. It's like nice and clean, better than I can that I can make uh, with my cutoff wheel and everything. And I can be able to clean those up. I can still paint these and everything. I just have two bolts here and then holding this into place. So I'm actually quite happy with that. So I just used two of those and boom. I said the hole is already actually in the right spot. I just had to enlarge it a little bit. So it's kind of like perfect. So I've been measuring it up, making sure everything fits properly and that goes right there. So that one I already have bolted in, made sure it tests, very secure. I do have some other bolts I'm gonna be using. These are fender ones, same size, but I'm gonna get some cleaner looking. Make it a little nicer once it's painted. I'm gonna do all that actually up through there. So. I'm going to go ahead and bolt this in, and then we can determine out where the hood pins are going to go inside the car to cut those out. So let's go ahead. All right, there we go. Very simple, easy to do. I did check my degree, make sure that they're equal or, I mean, they're very close. This was at eight degrees, that one's at seven, zero degrees. I mean, it's very, I mean, best I could get wise to it. Because originally I would have to cut into it. I didn't want to cut into it, then weld with the other ones. So I like them, these are good scare. They do stick out further, but I kind of like it because it does put the hood pin further in the hood and I don't have to cut. Uh, any other actually the support out on it so i'm actually quite happy with that so idea with the pins so now i need to i already made sure that the hood is where i needed to that the gap lines were good when it was closed so i need to get these make sure they're equal on both sides i'm gonna put a little bit of grease on it um just to mark out where it hits onto the hood so i know exactly where i need to drill first hole to determine how to get these to fit so i'm gonna go ahead and get that going Oh, perfect. That looks pretty good. 
All right, so pretty much directly exactly where I need it to be. Not too big, not too small. So that will go something like that. I mean, I still got to cut the breast out, so I will need to make it bigger, but I'm going to go ahead and add these to it. And it's pushed down. So now I can actually get the line how I want this. So I'm going to play with it for a second just to see exactly, because technically I can move it anywhere in this area I want. I do want it going back. The question is, do I want it to be even with the hood going down so to be on an angle tilted a little bit? Something like that. Or do I just go straight up and down? So I'm gonna play with that just for a little bit and I'll bring, I'll come back to you guys. All right, so I got it measured up the way I like to. I have it actually the edge of this falling the edge of the hood so it's not straight up and down. It's not too far over. I think I got it right. So all I did was lock it in the center where it needs to be and oh, it's in my pocket. And I just traced out around it, so. Well, this looks halfway decent that's right there in the middle and now I have a pattern what I have to cut out now so let's go ahead and get this once that cuts out I slide this in make sure it's all centered properly and then I'll drill the holes for the other bolts and test it in there um, once I have it this in and that I might not nah, I probably should bolt it up and make sure because I have to take all this apart again anyways to when I go to paint it and I need to clean up everything for it so Let's go ahead and uh, get the rest of this cut out. Okay, so it wasn't too bad putting them in. Uh, I did make a few mistakes. This side, it's not as tight as a fit. I, it took me a lot longer to trim it, but I'm actually happy with it. I didn't do as well drilling holes on the other side as I wanted to, but that's okay. I'm not completely bolting these in yet. I got the holes drilled, because I do gotta go over and do body work now on the hood, because this was all peaked up. I had a dolly and hammer this out, same up there. And this is where that emblem we were saying I welded up before. So pretty much body work here, here, here. So when I do body work though, I gotta make sure I don't I have to go through and sand all this in there. side. I gotta make sure I don't build this edge up because this does gotta fit back in there. So maybe it's good, it's a little loose. Uh, this side is a lot tighter of a fit. I mean, it's, I mean, I have to actually hit it out. Uh, the issue I did with it though, I went too far on the one side, you can see right there. I can see the gap, so kind of went good, good, went too far, and came back around. So it's, I mean, not going to know it, not going to see it, but I know it's there. I do have to build it. So I will have to go through and I will drill the holes out for this, and that'll be good to go. I mean, I think I got video of me drilling the holes out, making it very easy, but I'm actually quite happy the way that looks. So, what did we do in this video? Just to recap, because I can't remember, days flew by. So I got the struts put on for the hood. And I got these hood pins in. I think that's good for one video. I mean, it's like pulling down so it would snap up. But I mean, you can go to the car show, pop, 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 and just lifting up on that, and boom, perfect. So I think I covered everything. Uh, if you guys do have any comments, I'll leave them down there. I'll try answering them. I'll have to go through the video and make sure I put everything up to them. I said to go with ones with locks because. It seems like car theft is very high. I mean, this thing's gonna have a lot of other security things onto it, but I know the hood locks don't look as nice compared to the ones without it. I mean, they will have to take out paint, so I need to figure out how to do the paint scheme to make these kind of blend in, you know? I don't want these to be like popping out too much to it. 
But you know guys, thank you for watching. Give me a like, comment, uh, subscribe if you haven't. Um, get motivated to keep these videos coming. I mean, I have footage from hours and hours of stuff that I have not had a chance to even edit it because I'm, like I said, I'm doing it all on my phone. So you guys take it easy till next time.